Simple Things, my buddy here. I'll leave a link to his little uh, channel. Uh, we're gonna do a little op check on it. So I'm gonna raise this up a little bit here. We're gonna hit shift and then test to go to the keyboard test. Okay, maybe we can get a little bit better lighting there. And then with the Q links, you could see the data value here increasing and decreasing. Tells you if those work. See my uh, lower Q link isn't quite functioning properly. It's yeah. not a big deal right now, but you can see how it's just got a random number. Let's zoom in for these guys that have phones and stuff. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just kind of random all over the place. Yeah, yeah right. but the, the Q1 here goes from 1,000 to zero. So you think you could probably do a detox it or whatever on that bottom one over there? It might need to be cleaned, but it might also have a broken solder lead on the wire that goes to it. Haven't oh, looked at it okay. yet. All right, well, cool. Okay, as you saw in the video we did, the previous one, on uh, checking this out and all the stuff, you saw that this slider was kind of messed up. So what I did is I went ahead and I bent the tabs back right here and I'm going to pull this apart. Now you only need to pull these three loose and these three loose. Don't do these ones here. They actually hold the circuit board uh, in. So let's see if we can't get this separated for you. I wish I had brought my uh, tripod but I didn't so we're just going to have to do it the old fashioned way two-handed so let me pause this okay so what I did is I held it here and then my other two fingers here and I just pulled and the board uh, started to separate and when you get it open holy mackerel this thing has seen some use I think even detox would help but I don't think it's gonna cure the problem so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean these up really good and check those wipers and everything and they they actually look good so they're not actually broken and the other station where I use the microscope that's that's under use now so I can't I can't use it so you can see the wipers there they look like they're in good shape they're not broken or torn off or anything and this is just really dirty right here really dirty Right, almost got it cleaned up. I got this cleaned up fairly well. It's really heavily worn right here on the ends from where it's where it's in the park position. But overall, it, it's not in bad shape. Uh, they're not designed to work forever. Though that those little carbon runs on that little brown tab, they do wear off. And this right here is the actual slider. It's it's in good shape now. I cleaned it up. Uh, this little spring compressor actually goes on top of the knob and then this little plastic piece goes here and that plastic piece rides in that slot. The thing is, is why the sliders go bad is one, just continued use and two, the little felt or dust that goes on the top, a lot of times they're open or they're worn and just over years dirt and crap and dust gets in there. So that's why it's important to cover up your sound equipment, especially if it has sliders and stuff. If you're not using it, cover that puppy up with something. Keep the dirt and dust and food scraps and hair and all kinds of things falling into your equipment. So anyways, so let me clean this up. All right, I got it all cleaned up. And for the uh, kind of rough areas inside there, a little extra corroded. Uh, after I pulled the lint out, I saw a whole bunch in there. I don't really have a micro blaster, so I just used some screwdriver and cleaned it up a little bit. You can use some chemical stuff, whatever, but you know, if, if your equipment's going to be indoors, most likely it's not going to have a problem. And it looks like I still have some little black areas in there on those rails, so I'm going to take care of those real quick and then I'm going to reassemble this. Alright, I got those areas cleaned up. Uh, to clean those up, I just used a uh, little jeweler screwdriver and kind of burnished it. Rubbed it back and forth. Now this only goes on one way, too, I notice. So let's go ahead and get it together. Uh, to do that, you start off, you put this little springy on top of here. There we go. Do it right here like this. And this piece goes on top of that piece. Bink, like that. And then this piece goes on top right here. And you just roll it over like that. Now this can actually go in backwards. So let's see if we can't figure that out. If you look here, 
on your item you'll see one that has like a single scratch mark in it and one that has two scratch marks in it well the two scratch marks is for this one so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and put it on here and then figure out which way it goes on to compress it down and I'll, I'll go ahead and do that for you all right I figured it out if you look at the side here you'll notice that two of the tabs are more in towards the center than the two on the outside. Let me see if I can't show you better with a like a screwdriver or something. All right, here we go. These two tabs are more towards the center of the unit than these two tabs. And that's where the double wiper goes. The double wiper goes towards the side where the two tabs are more towards the center. And then this goes on here. And you can see that this area right here, these, these openings are closer to the center than these openings are right here. These ones are more towards the end than these ones. So this side goes with this side. If you got a little hobby vise, it'd probably be good. Again, you could set it in the vise. So let me go grab one. All right, I got it in my hobby vise. Now I'm going to go ahead and push this on. There we go. Now that it's down, now I can bend these tabs over. Right here. Lock it in real good. And once you get a couple of them bent over really good, then you can go ahead and pull out of the vise and finish it off. So let's do that. Well, here it is all assembled and everything let's get it in all right guys we got it all stalled back in I soldered it back into the board set it down so let's fire it up and see what happens so we got to wait for the uh, got to wait for it to boot and then you hit the shift button and this button here at the same time. I, I, I don't know if I can hit them both at the same time. Let's try. Oh, wrong one. There we go. All right, now we're in the test. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test this little slider and see if it's intermittent anymore. And before, when you would wiggle it, it would go all over the place. And it is rock solid now. So it's perfect. So let's go check this one. I didn't take this one apart. It could probably use it. Now, even though I've cleaned it, I would go ahead and use some contact uh, cleaner and fluid for it because these normally do come with a little bit of grease in there to keep it lubricated so that the wipers don't actually wipe all the carbon off. So uh, my buddy there, <laughs> simple things, is gonna have to take care of that. He's gonna have to go get his own little grease and spray it in there. Here we go, 100%. I think this unit now is actually repaired now. Uh, this still, every once in a while, there's one click, two clicks, three clicks. Isn't perfect, but it's usable, and that's what's important. So if, if I was him, he says he wants to let it run for a while to see if maybe it'll fix itself, you know, through wearing and stuff. Because there are electrical contacts in there. If not, then we'll go ahead and do the mod. But for now, this is working. I'm going to go ahead and take this tape off and just touch it with the soldering iron a little bit. Or put a little dab of super glue. Maybe that would be better. Because then he could always take it apart and redo it again if he wants. But this is eventually going to fail. You saw the grooves that were in the, uh, the actual rotary contacts. So it's going to have to be done eventually. But I think he wants to play with it. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching, guys. So that's, this is the video on how to fix your slider. Uh, we'll put some links to the other videos and things that we've done for you. And uh, hope you get your machine working. Or if you're just curious, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you if you like the kind of stuff i do i'll do automotive work uh, i do uh, electronic work i just do a whole bunch of stuff even got some pinball machine stuff up so thanks guys god bless you all and keith on you out bye